Hello, my name is Mrs Gamma and I'm the lead teacher of Religion, Ethics and Philosophy here at El Mortimer College. This video has been put together to allow you to see what you'll be studying in years 10 and 11 and to navigate your way through the GCSE content. As you are aware, all students at El Mortimer College study Religion, Ethics and Philosophy at GCSE. It's part of the core curriculum and a compulsory subject. Your teacher will work with you from year nine right the way through to year 11 to make sure that you achieve the best grade. We are studying the Educa specification and you've started to look at this already in year nine. Your exam consists of three papers, themes, Christianity and Hinduism. We've already started looking at Christianity in year nine. In year 11, you will sit a one hour paper worth 25% of your grade. Next year in year 10, you'll be studying Hinduism. Again, you'll sit a one hour paper worth 25% of your grade. And finally, in year 11, we'll be studying the themes paper. This is a two hour exam worth 50% of your grade. As you can see, we look at a variety of topics over the next three years. This year, you'd be looking at the nature of God and creation stories from the Christianity paper. Next year, we'll be looking at topics such as Brahman, the caste system, and you'll be taking part in meditation and worship under the Hinduism paper. And then finally, in year 11, we look at harder hitting topics such as abortion, IVF, capital punishment, and gender equality. The good thing about these papers is that they are set up the same. Each paper consists of A, B, C, D, define questions, describe, explain and discuss. You will also get marked on scripture and SPAG, which is spelling, punctuation and grammar. Now, over the next couple of years, you have got many things available to help you. You'll have revision classes set by your teachers, revision booklets. You've also got the specification revision notes, websites such as BBC Bite Size and BBC Religion, social media platforms such as REP at EMC, and everything happening in the news around you where you can find this on BBC News. We want you to try your best to succeed and we will be with you every step of the way as your cheerleaders and supporters to make sure that you get the best grade possible. Now REP can lead to many careers, everything from higher education to the armed forces to the media and to working abroad with charity work. The reason why employers like REP as a subject is because it shows that you have an understanding and a respect for different cultures. You have an ability to be able to listen to others and to respond maturely. You can show respect and tolerance and you are a well-rounded person. That way you're able to work with people such as the young and elderly. This is a really sought after subject by employers and by higher education. And if you succeed in it, you'll do well in later life. Now, if you need to contact me for anything in regards to REP, my information can be found on the school website. Thank you very much. Bye.